You know, I feel like our our bodies kind of have, have the incredible ability to letting us know what we kind of need. And lately, I've been really cra craving being outside. <sighs> I had my breakfast out here, even though it was cold. Um, but I mean, the last couple of days and pretty much week and pretty much since I came back from Cape Town, which was, when was that? When did we came, come back? I don't actually know, but two weeks or three weeks, um, I've only been inside. Hmm. I really want to take a walk right now, kind of, but um, that's not in the time, in the time right now, but at least going outside for a couple seconds. I mean, look at it. It's gorgeous. It's autumn. Maybe I should go f for runs again. Maybe that fixes it. I can work out and also be outside for a while. I'll find a solution. Oh, update actually. Um, I just sent over the payment for the place I'm staying at in Bali. Um, so I'm going to Bali, 1st of December. I have a doctor's appointment today to talk about vaccines because apparently you have to get vaccinated if you go in there. Um, I'm gonna show you guys the place because, I mean, it's a villa and it's gorgeous. It's a massive house, it's a massive garden with a pool and all of that beautiful stuff. But I first wanna get the confirmation and get it locked in. And then I'm gonna show you guys the place. I'm really excited. Let's get back to work. All right, I promise you guys. So I just got the confirmation for um, my place in Bali where I'm gonna stay, the Hustlers Villa. And I wanted to show you guys it because it looks pretty dope. So there's the website. I don't actually know if they have pictures on here. Ooh, let's watch a video. So that looks pretty dope, right? And um, so I'm paying 800 euros a month, which is a lot for Bali standards because you can literally find a place in Bali for like 200 euros a month. Um, but for me, it just seemed like a very clean solution. Also because, well, there are other people staying there in one villa um, and I'm sure that they have like good Wi-Fi and all of that taken care of. Um, and they have weekly ev events where um, you know, someone holds a presentation about something. It's kind of like masterminds. So I'm, you know, I'm not alone. I'm not staying in an Airbnb all on my own. And I'm already at a place where I can work from and I meet, you know, like-minded people. So I chose that. I don't know if there's more stuff. Yeah, I mean, look at it. That's the garden. That's the that's the bedroom like everyone gets. It's uh, not not too bad. They have an Instagram too. If you want to check that out, Hustlers Villa. You know, loads of stuff. Obviously, it's these pictures are all taken in um, summer, and when I'm going there, it's rainy season, so it probably won't look that nice. But I'm fine with that because you know I wanna I wanna work anyway, and maybe that's actually a good incentive to stay inside more and not just constantly want to go out. Um, and I'm freaking pumped. I'm excited to go there. I'm excited to meet the people. I'm excited to actually go heads down and be completely kind of in my zone and in my bubble and completely decide the, you know, how my day is gonna look. And I'm gonna be living in a villa. That's a nice extra too. So December 1st, here we go. That's good. 
super good. Cool. Have a good day. Cool. Yeah. Bye boy. Good chatting. And now I gotta send a follow-up email, kind of talking about, you know, recapping the meeting, what we talked about, what are the next action steps, and what we're gonna talk about next week. Um, but that was kind of like a strategy session that I have weekly with one of the startups I'm consulting on. Um, so that is one part of the thing that I'm, oh, I'm not looking in the camera, hey. <laughs> so that's one of the things I'm, you know, getting paid for. And then the other part is running the actual ads um, and doing the ad strategy ad management whatever the fuck you want to call it and yeah oh yeah hey um <clears throat> i don't know why the fuck i'm doing that that was so weird finn um i also got my blood results today so i went to the doctors also because i gotta you know get vac vaccinated maybe i'm not fully decided on whether i want to get vaccinated but I got my blood results. They're good. I'm very happy about them. Like, look at them. I mean, you probably don't understand much about this, but CRP, this is a, a marker for inflammation. You have to be below five to be in the normal rate. I'm below fucking 0 0.3. Like, come at me, bro. Like, show me your fucking CRP. You know, show me your freaking inflammation markers. I'm just gonna, you know, beat you. Um, my LDL, so co cholesterol, um, low dens density, and then high density, the bigger ones, it's very good too with uh, 61. Um, so I'm very happy with those results. I mean, we talked about that before, but um, if you just, if you, you know, want to start supplementing or supplementing and you probably should because you're probably lacking a lot of like the vitamins and mineral your body actually needs because let's face it you're probably not eating pretty good and even if you're doing so you know we got depleted soils there's no fucking minerals anymore in the in the soil we have food that's being that's traveling for like thousands of kilometers which is being frozen and unfrozen multiple times within the process so you know you might not end up with a lot of the good stuff, even if you're eating healthy. And so it might make sense to supplement. It's not a bad thing, but you just need to know how much your body actually needs. And that is super individualistic. And so you actually need to base this off of blood markers and not off, off of very rough guesses that you're reading on the interwebs. That's just my, you know, my cautionary advice, I guess. I mean, you can do whatever the fuck you want. It might just be not just good for you. Yeah. Hard to wake up when there's no alarm to wake you up. Sitting, breathing, doing all the things I hate to love. But why not? Holy shit, I just wanna make a trip to the China.